Oi, Creaky, hurry up, man. Freezing my dick off out here. What dick? <laughs> Sorry, Brad Pitt of the Sneaker Game. Hey guys, welcome to Lacing It Up. Well, it's lacing it out in the outdoor elements <laughs> today. Yeah, well, we've had a bit of a falling out with the big guy. <laughs> well, he fell, he just sort of left us out in the cold. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, hanging out with Trinidad James during the week at Kicks 101, and next thing you know, we're outside in a shed shooting lacing it up. So yeah, In the brand warehouse, we call it. Yeah, yeah, so uh, he's, uh, he's MIA today. <laughs> he seriously is missing. Last time, it was, I think it was a photo on Instagram, was the last we saw of him, <laughs> with Trinidad James. And he's just ditched us. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, it's just the two of us today. There's a lot less shoes in the background, and it's as cold as can be at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty excited. We've got a lot of cool stuff in this set. Yeah, so to be honest, we're in my shed, yeah. which only has two walls. Two, two good walls. And it's going to be about two degrees here in Melbourne tonight. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see our breath, but uh, we definitely can, yeah. If only I could do smoke rings, right? Yeah, ain't that cool. Anyway, so... Because we love you guys so much, we thought, you know what, we're not going to miss this episode. We're going to soldier on, because yeah. we really believe in this show. We believe and we love and we're passionate about what we do. <laughs> not like the big guy down the end. <laughs> He's a bit looser. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, we've got plenty of content. Matt's busy. Why wait another two weeks? Let's get it done. I just wonder, though, because you raised with me earlier in the week that last episode you've accused me of rolling my eyes. Yeah, yeah. Or something. Yeah. What, what were you accusing you had me like of? I don't understand this. Sometimes when Matt and I go on rambles, particularly with Matt, you know, we go on the same topic for like 30, 40 seconds, you have like a WTF face that comes up. <laughs> and like, I know you really well, so I can see it. I'm not sure if people watching the show see it, oh, but I can on. see it. You just start to wander and, you know, you just <laughs> blankly look at the camera. And then all of a sudden, as soon as we're done, snap back in, and good to go. About this, like I just did in the last segment, but I mean, Disney do own, they do own Marvel and Lucasfilm, so they're probably responsible for part of this, like, Avengers and... <laughs> It's the one and only Eagle Double G. Doing it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, so let's talk about the week that was. Yeah. NBA Finals decided, done yep. and dusted. Yeah. Uh, the big Golden bogey State got his ring. Yeah, the big bogey. The monster, the beast, the boy from Dandenong, about oh, 20k's that way. Yeah, yeah, the boogeyman. Yeah, no, he did, he, look, he didn't have the greatest final series, I think we've got to admit that. Yeah, after Golden State changed their uh, their plan and they went small and fast, Bogey got a couple of DNPs, but I mean, he was still a big part of the finals and the whole year. I mean, he was in, you know, second all-team uh, defence, so uh, yeah, he's still a, a linchpin of the team. Yeah, I think they've got to look up to him uh, in the same light as Luke Longley now. Uh, maybe after a couple more rings. A couple more. Yeah. Yeah, but at least, you know, in the past, since Luke Longley, we've had guys get rings. Oh, look, Paddy Mills Paddy earned Mills. his. Yeah, yeah. Definitely earned his. But we've had a few Aussies along the way be passengers, let's be honest. Are we going after Andrew Gase? Is yeah. that what we're doing? And Shane Hill? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those yeah. guys are not, you know... Oh, Shane Hill didn't get a ring, yeah. but he got some calls. They got a ring for being the water boy. Yeah, no, well, Gaze did. Yeah, I think he played a couple of minutes in the finals. But I'm not going to throw the, Gaze under the, the bus. It was like in the... One of the conference yeah, finals. That was well, an absolute final. Anyway, anyway, let's get off basketball and get back to shoes. Yeah, because it's shoe season. Yeah, yeah. Did you pick up anything this week? No. All that's Fortnite. Nothing. No. Nothing at all. Did you go shopping for shoes? No. It's a shoe show. You didn't go to sneaker. Nothing. No, we'll get back no. to this later. Well, I can't talk about it right now. It's hurt my feelings. What's happening? <laughs> Something's got you. We might get to this later, but. I didn't pick up anything either, uh, which is terrible for a sneaker show, but I did try. I went hard after those uh, Ronnie Diamond uh, Asics collabs oh, that we yeah. talked, we rocked or dropped last week. Yep. I tried my best to get them over two days and about seven websites, and I just crashed out everywhere. No luck. So wow. uh, maybe we need some more subscribers so I get a little bit more like uh, pull in this and I, uh, I can get some uh, get some freebies. But <laughs> it just, uh, it's not going to happen. I, I try my best. So. so in the emails to the to the websites when you're buying the shoes, we yeah, say, yeah. yeah. 
but I'm on a really influential, up and coming, <laughs> really hot sneaker show. Yeah, I'm an influencer. Went, yeah, then, well, yeah, and then they went to our uh, YouTube channel and saw that we had 140 subscribers <laughs> and didn't reply. Yeah, come <laughs> on. If you're watching out there, I want it to be your responsibility and your responsibility only for each and every one of you to go and get us five subscribers each. Oh, I think I've got a Cobweb. Spice, so this is the weird true buying We're in the status. shed, right? Yeah, this yeah. is where all good startups start. <laughs> in the shed. I want each of you to go and get us five subscribers each, please. That'd be nice. As our boy Gary Vaynerchuk would say, just throw that right hook there and help us out. You're not a big fan, are you? No, oh, don't put that out in public, but no. Uh, he's alright. He's alright. Anyway. Yeah, he loves, he, he, man, he loves MX. Does he? He's hey, a knock MX. You guys can hang guy. out and spoon and stuff. It'd be great. <laughs> it's a freaking possum, possum on man. the roof. Either that or Matt just rocked up. But uh, yeah, he's I think a possum. But uh, yeah, look, I mean, uh, I, I will this say, like, I will say <laughs> that uh, even though I didn't buy anything, I've been painting like crazy the last two weeks. Uh, orders have been coming in, and I've been doing huge painting days. So uh, yeah, expect a lot of customs soon. It's uh, been really exciting. So were your customs this week a little bit on the angry side because I know last <laughs> week. You, I mean, I know you, like you said this before, yeah, you know, yeah. I know you as well. Those Adidas last week, the, the uh, Avenger packs, yeah. that really upset you. I, I know you ranted a little bit on the show, but off camera, man, <laughs> this guy was punching holes in walls. There wasn't a taxi driver in town that was safe. <laughs> or, you know, every one of them had overcharged him. His pizza came with diff the wrong topping. It was or a bad wasn't week. cooked properly. It was a bad week. Well, I will say I did uh, specifically because of that. Without a commission, I did actually create a pair of shoes this week, which I've brought really? along. So uh, I haven't shown anyone these yet, but because of the uh, the Hulk catastrophe of the Avengers pack, even though it's probably the best of the lot, I've gone and made myself uh, Is this Hulk a Nike MX one. one. Yeah. So oh, man, uh, I really love this. Yeah, so he got his the superpowers radio, from uh, from radiation. So got the logo on there. His fist punching through the back of the shoe, and then I do this Trust muscle the print together. So right? yeah, yeah. So just pretty rad. I'm happy with Get that. Of those. Yeah. So look, I mean, I've gone to the uh, to the other extreme and really sort of tricked him out. But uh, yeah, this is the kind of thing I would like to see personally when it comes to a uh, character collab. It tells a bit of a story of the character, you know? So this is Secure D versus Adidas. Let's, let's, let's hook that up. Street Fighter. Street yeah. Fighter. Secure D versus Adidas. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Fighter. Fighter. And you guys are gonna vote. Who wins? Yeah, yeah. Tell us in the Secure comments. D or Adidas. Yeah, tell us in the comments who you like better, and uh, and please vote for me. <laughs> hey man, the one thing that really amazes me about customs, and I know this is a sneaker show, it's not really a custom show so much, but you know, what did this shoe look like before yeah. you started on it? So yeah. You know, how do you buy a shoe and then say that's going to be the Hulk shoe? Yeah, so it was actually uh, the Escape Pack Air Max 1 that came out about six months ago. I think we might have rocked or dropped it in our second episode. They're like brown. They were brown, so they were mostly brown and white. So um, essentially, as long as it's leather, you can change it to any colour. And uh, and that's what I've done there. Man, these are sweet. These laces? Yeah, 3M laces, 3M rope laces. Uh, you don't usually get rope laces on Air Max 1s, but who cares? It's a custom. Man, these are sweet. And I did one other shoe, sure. which I, uh, you know, I've always done good. I've been very movely influenced this week, so I have done one more, and uh, it is... There's good movies. There's. Uh, this is one of them. And uh, Minions. Up a bit higher, right? Air Force That's One. Nice. Are we going to be higher? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, you know, I don't do recons, but... So, I've painted the uh, denim pat pattern on the front, got the goggles on the side, and, uh, yeah, look, I mean, a nice, simple colorway custom. Uh, the Gru logo on the toe box with the denim reverse stitching. And, uh, and yeah, I was really happy with these. I did these when uh, Despicable Me 2 came out and they blew up on a Jordan 5 Laney. And uh, now I'm just bringing them back on the Air Force One for a commission. So Look at these, they googly eyes. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, I've been really busy painting this week, which is good. So. This is cool, they, um, they even come smelling of banana. Yeah, <laughs> nice reference, that's Fantastic. good. Fantastic. That's good. Man, you've done well. Yeah, cheers. Alright, good work, good work. Now, let's get moving into the show where we're going to move on to rock or drop. Alright, so as you know, Rock or Drop is where we present you guys with the latest shoes about to hit the market and we have to vote instantaneously on whether we're rocking them or dropping them in the trash. If we are slow in casting our vote, you guys get to determine 
The penalty. It can be anything. Um, so was the penalty for Matt last episode that he's not allowed to be here? Is yeah. that it? So Matt's just been voted off Maybe the show. Maybe that's why he's not here. Maybe <laughs> Matt's not here because he was worried about the fact that he was getting the rock or drop penalty. Yeah, yeah. It's... I'd like to think so. <laughs> Alright, so let's get it going. Rock or drop, do you want me to start? I'll go first. Uh, the Puma Soul Box uh, XS850 Adventurer Pack. Yeah. Two shoes. Two shoes? Yeah. yeah. That were good. I like those. Okay, let's go to the Reebok Stash Insta Pump Fury. I usually love a Reebok Fury, but man, Stash stinks. I like Stash, but not today. Uh, next, know, he missed that, didn't he? Yeah. Next up is the uh, What the KD7. The What the. Interesting shoe, nice concept, but I don't think I could wear it. Uh, you are? Yeah, the Air Jordan MTM pack. We've been waiting for this. Yeah, I'm rocking right. these all the way home, even though I don't wear Jordans. <laughs> I'd put these on a shelf, particularly those uh, tw the 29s. 29s, yeah. yeah. 29. I thought we were talking about this at the end, Creaky. No, okay. Well, this well, Maddie's not bad on us. And uh, last up is the highs and lows Reebok uh, LX 8500. Sweet. It's agreed. always good to see uh, another about, like um, local retailer get a collab too. So yeah, well it is, and they, yeah, they look pretty sweet. I think they're rad. So big guy, where are you going? <laughs> huh? I, think, uh, I think he's going to get penalised today, he's no matter what. No vote from the big guy. <laughs> Punishment's all his. That's it for rock or drop. On to the launch pad. the segment where we look at the latest and greatest uh, attempts to get media attention in the sneaker world, whether that's by a limited release, a collab, something a sneaker company does just to get attention and be nice to the world. Yeah. This week has been pretty much swallowed up by basketball, so the yep. sneaker company's been laying a little bit low. But there's been a few little stunts going around. Yeah, there's been a lot of content in the last two weeks. I think that's, uh, well, we're about to figure that out, aren't we? Yeah, you can start. Alright, well, I'll kick it off with um, Jordan Brand releasing... Well, I'm not sure if they released the images. They were high-quality images, but images came out of the Westbrook Zero, which is uh, Russell Westbrook's first signature shoe. He uh, notoriously plays in whatever the latest shoe is for Jordan Brand because he's maybe the pinnacle player on the brand at the moment. But they've given him his own lifestyle shoe, which is really rad. So um, Westbrook sometimes makes bigger news with what he wears at the press conferences rather than what he does, what he does on court, even though what he does on court is insane. Uh, and yeah, I think the shoe's rad, and it's a really good direction for Jordan Brand to go in, because pretty soon we're all going to have five pairs of Jordan 3s, 4s, 5, 6, 7, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's giving them a whole new market to explore. It has a bit of a Buscemi feel. Yeah, I was uh, going to say that. It's got a little bit of sushi about it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's rad. Sushi. You know, and it's, and it's so true to Westbrook that it's a smart move, I think. It's interesting because, yeah, these players all have their own rules, right, on what they wear and how they wear it. Mm. Uh, we saw LeBron during the finals change his shoes all the time yep. to get some uh, equity out there, I suppose, in, yeah, yeah. In, in the shoes that he was wearing. But this move, you know, it's flipped the game a little bit. And these, you know, they're a red shoe with gold tabs, so we know which market they're aiming for there, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. China. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? It's a bit rough. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, no, you're not wrong, though, yeah. Yeah, and look, hey, anyone comes to um, sneaker releases here in Australia, and, you know, and the Asian sneaker lovers are out in force. I mean, yeah. they're, they're smashing the game, so nothing against them, and Nike's playing their card. Yeah, well, China's just a huge emerging market. I mean, basketball's massive over there. You just need to look at what, like, Linsanity and Yao and the love for Kobe and LeBron and stuff over there. I know, you know, China gets allocated a lot of collaborations as well with brands because the market's so big, so it's not surprising. Yeah, look at Vans. I mean, let's move on to the next segment. It's a segue and a half. Right? Segway Segway and a half. half. So let's talk the Asian market, and we look <laughs> at what Vans is doing with uh, Takahashi. Is that right? Takashi Murakami. Takashi? Takahashi? No. Takashi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really like Takashi Murakami's artwork. He's just done a new capsule with Vans. And uh, it's, it's... Well, he's Kanye's buddy, right? Yeah, Our Pharrell, brothers. Louis Vuitton, Casio G-Shock. The guy's done it all. Uh, you know, amazing art shows, and he has done a collab with Vans, which is really true to his style, which is cool to see. So, I would have liked In to... In a way, though, because, look, I'm split on some of these shoes, yeah. because I think his art is awesome, no yeah. problem, what a legend, props to you, because he's watching, surely, <laughs> he'll be watching... One of our 140s. Yeah, he's one of the 140, <laughs> we're going high, 
But, uh, yeah, I don't like the coloured in ones. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. They're a little bit hard to wear, I'll give you uh, I'll give you that. But uh, there is also a white with just sort of like yeah. a lasered outline version. Yeah, 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 and they're, that, they're rad. And, and how like cool are the kids' ones as well? Yeah. He, uh, he's actually made like three specifically for kids, and they're not just like reduced size versions. They're like cutie little kid versions, and I think yeah, they're yeah. rad. Yeah, they go fine. Yeah, and they'll crush in Japan and Hong Kong and stuff. I would have liked to see them on maybe like a half cab or something, but, uh, you know, everyone knows what a van slip-on is. They so. certainly leave a few of the, uh, the uh, more recent van yeah, exactly. yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah. I think no so. mention of the Star Wars disaster. <laughs> okay, moving on. Now, this really got us pumped. This is probably the most exciting thing and news for me this week, was this bait, uh, G.I. Joe. Yeah. Collab, it's right? kind of like what we wished the Avengers potentially, you know, really oh, could yeah. have been. You know, it's, Actually, it's Adidas. The yeah. Adidas. I know you're watching because <laughs> last week we slammed you. Uh, have a look sorry, at what Eddie. happened here. Yeah. Have a look at how this was done. Yeah. This is back to Goonies days, right? Yeah, yeah we're back to Goonies disc. I think we're not going to go an episode without me shouting that shoe out. Goonies disc. But yeah, I thought it was great. So, Bait have done a collab with New Balance over two silhouettes, and there's a Cobra Commander version, which is great, but I mean, I'll get into that in a second. But if you're in the line in the stores and you're one of the first people in line and you buy both pairs of shoes, you get this crazy military box. Uh, done up with, you know, uh, Cobra Commander or G.I. Joe decals, which is insanely rad. I think it's just, you know, they go that extra mile, it tells the story of the character, and it's a presentation piece that uh, everyone remembers, you know? Like, the story that caught my eye was uh, was actually the shoeboxes. Yeah. And this, and there we reach the uh, heart of my torment this week, and while I was in such a bad mood at the start of the show. Why, it's this. Yeah, because you can only get these in America. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get them. And there was only 60 boxes. <laughs> yeah, so this is why it's got you all emotional. Yeah, this cut me deep. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, uh, it happens a lot, unfortunately, to us in Australia. We notoriously didn't get the Chicago 10 a couple of months, like, about a month ago, which tore everyone to pieces. But, uh, yeah, it would have been nice if we had some of these down here. Maybe Bait need to open a local store. Bait do. Bait, where, where you... We're here for you. We'll promote your brand for as many boxes of G.I. Joe's you can support. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was rad. I'm pretty sure Cobra Commander approves. Cobra Commander, are they? Oh, cool. I mean, they're a blue leopard. You can see them right now. Snake skin on there. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Yeah, it was pretty good. It tells the story, right? Even the pictures do with the, you know, uh, the discharged uh, gun cartridges and stuff. I think it's cool. Yeah. You know, you know I'm a little bit against promoting Against guns, guns yeah. Me too, stuff, but like, for the story of the character. Yeah, it's a cartoon. Yeah. So, you approve? Of the shoes, I approve. Let's whack that up. <laughs> it's a great victory for Cobra. Perhaps too perfect. Now, make... <laughs> now, probably the big news going around, we'll finish off Launchpad here, is, you know, the deal with... The NBA jersey deal. Yeah, so we've come full circle. We're back on basketball again, which yeah. seems inescapable this week. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Nike look to have signed uh, what has been reported to be close to a one billion dollar deal with the NBA to get the uh, license back. Yeah. So, so Adidas been slammed again. <laughs> See what happens when you make crap Avenger shoes. <laughs> The whole basketball league says we don't want to go near those. Oh. They're not cool anymore. I think Adidas announced they didn't want the license. No, I'm sure anymore. they didn't want it. They didn't want it. The prices, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Anyway, me getting excited is working on the neighbour's dog. Oh, that's too. But yeah, so I think... Uh, oh, well, he has. So look, I mean, I think, it's, I think it's cool anyway. Uh, Addy, uh, you know, passing it on to Nike. Nike really taking over the basketball and the NFL. It's going to really... I mean, they're going to run American sports. Yeah. The, so. big, the big boys are back. It's, you know, probably where it needs to be. Yeah, look, I mean, a lot of people didn't like Swingman jerseys. I really liked Swingman jerseys, the NBA jerseys that they made. And Stance's uh, sock license reportedly only lasts for two years. So maybe the reason it was so expensive is because they're running the sock game too. Because they have the elite socks, which everyone balls in. Even Kanye wore them with his uh, Addy boosts uh, when he played basketball for his birthday at Madison Square Garden the other day, which was a bit of a faux pas for him. But... Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's cool. I mean, uh, Nike's just running the game. I mean, they've already got all, you know, most of the superstars in the NBA, so. Yep, I think we will one day go through an episode without mentioning Kanye as well. Oh, well, we can try, yeah. Anyway, that's it for Lacing It Up. Without the big guy. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Without the big guy. Don't know where he is. So Trinidad, if you've got him. Yeah. <laughs> we would like him back. It would be nice. Next episode. Yeah. 
That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and maybe next time we won't be coming from the cold barn with the dog next door. And the possum on the roof. And the possum on the roof. Anyway, peace. Cheers, guys. Woo! <laughs>